Hey guys! Welcome to Overwatch again. I am addicted to this game. So this is really fun. Um, yeah, we're fine. Yes! Traveling to Dorado. Dorado. You know, <laughs> I just realized I probably shouldn't be recording this right now. Give me tracer bitches. I shouldn't be recording this because um, it's like... Wait, what? Oh, the game must have already been happening. Like, okay, this is the second time this has ever happened to me. Fun. I guess the payload's this way. Yeah, but like, you know, it's 6.26 p.m. Uh, my family is coming to the apartment in like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And also I'm waiting on a pizza and the pizza guy has to call me because I can't, you know, like can't get into my building because yeah. Shit, I've been hacked. Yeah, so, um, you know, this was probably not a good idea to, like, fucking... Oh, I'm dead. Fucking record this right now. But you know what? YOLO. As the kids used to say. YOLO. Ugh. <sighs> Today has just been a day. Cause, you know... I'm in college, so you know I have to do all sorts of shit, even on the weekends, because then it's like, oh shit, you know, you have homework assignments. So anyway, I have to do this presentation for my film class. Well, one of my two film classes. Yeah, I'm a trash. That thing is, like, you think, oh shit, I'm gonna die. Yep, there I go. You think, you know, it's like I'm in two film classes, I'm probably super pretentious, but I'm actually, like, not the most pretentious person in that class. There are many, many people who are way pretentious. But then again, I should have expected that. Because it's a film class. Oh wait, I'm alive. Shit. So anyway, we have to do this presentation. And basically what we have to do is we like got assigned into a group. And we had to like watch this movie. And then we have to basically pick a sequence from it that is like intriguing, but not spoilery. Shit, I didn't realize this fucking Genji was here this whole time. Yes, yeah, so we have to pick a sequence that's like intriguing to you. Basically to get people interested, because the whole point of these presentations is to like get people interested in these movies so they might write their paper about it. But the funny thing is, is that our presentation, we go after all the papers are already due, so there's really no point. But um, yeah, so we watched this movie and we picked a sequence. Now we just have to like do some like research on like reviews and shit, just basically like info on the movie. Great, easy, way easier than I thought it was gonna be. But the thing that's not easy is, movie we had to watch was, um, Boys Don't Cry, which, um, yeah, I watched it today. And, uh, it's fucking sad as shit. Like, I'm just fucked up now because of this fucking movie. Like, I'm just fucking, like, I'll just be sitting here and then I think, wow, that movie, that was fucking, that was ridiculous. Well, not ridiculous, like, ridiculously, like, sad. Like, and it's not just the kind of sad where I'm like, oh my god, it's so sad, but it's like I'm sad and like pissed off because of like what happened. And like, I don't know how many people have even heard of this movie, but like, I think it, I don't, I wasn't like alive in 99 when it came out, so like, I don't know if there was controversy. I'm pretty sure there, that, th I think there was some controversy because like the main character is a trans guy but he was played by uh, Hilary Swank, who is, you probably know, is a cisgendered woman. <laughs> ah, damn it. Um, yeah, so like, I'm sure that, I mean, it's, but it was 1999, so it's like, I don't think, A, there were many trans, trans man actors who were like, prominent and like, could get work. So, like, understandable, and obviously they didn't want to cast a cis guy, because that would be worse. So, like, I understand, based on plot points, obviously they wanted someone who was pre-transition. But it's just really sad, because, um, just all, like, the fucking bullshit, you know? Like, people, people being transphobic just pisses me the fuck off, and just, they fucking, um, it's really sad, and, oh, god damn it, no! really sad and I don't, I'm just I don't know like I'll just be sitting here and then I just think wow transphobes it's really sad 
Like, I would definitely recommend not watching it if you get easily, like, hurt. I'm dead again. Yeah, there's a... It's just, just so terrible what happens to the, to the character. Like, but, I mean, it was... A, I mean, I understand why the movie was made. But, like... I don't know, I just, it fucked me up a little bit. And by a little bit, I mean a lot. I just, I don't understand. Wow, this is getting, like, really dark. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I just don't understand why people just hate people who are different from them. It just really pisses me off, and I just... Uh, um, anyway, I'm gonna change the subject, because this is, like, it's a little, it's a little dark for, you know, Overwatch match and I've never been oh shit yeah so anyway you want to know f about a movie that doesn't like make me cry um uh, oh my god I can't stop thinking about the movie anyway so I said you know how I said I'm dead again yeah ever heard of the movie called dead again it's um forget it's kind of old uh it was I think directed by Kenneth Branagh who you may know as Gilderoy Lockhart, and also it stars him and Emma Thompson, who I think they were married at that point, actually, if I remember correctly. But anyway, it's really, it's really good up until, <laughs> it's really good, like, the, most of it, and then you get the, the end of the movie, <laughs> and just the way they shot this ending fight scene is just so ridiculous that, like, it completely took me out of the movie, to be honest. And, uh, it has become a meme in my family of just, like, the ending of Dead Again. And, um, certain shots. Uh, there's this shot, like, it's just, like, a whole fight, and, like, this, the bad guy or whatever, he, like, is, like, jumping forward in slow motion. And it's, like, really ridiculous. Like, it's, it's just hilarious. It completely doesn't really fit the rest of the movie, to, in my opinion. Anyway fun anecdote of, I don't even know, like, I mean, it's a meme in my family. I don't know if, like, how many other people have even heard of this movie, but, like, I wish it was, like, a, a legit meme, to be honest. There are a lot of, like, movies that I've watched where I'm, like, this just is so fucking ridiculous that it should be, it should be, like, a well-known meme in, like, the whole world. Like, the end of Dead Again, and, um, shit, I just, I had to train a thought and it was gone. Fuck. Uh, it was just, it was, like, this old movie we watched as a family, like, a, mm, Oh shit. Well, I'm dead now. What? Yeah, I'm, I'm dead again. <laughs> yeah, um, anyway, look up the end of Dead Again, and then there was this other movie I watched with my family. It was like, Christmas in Connecticut. That's what it is. Um, we found it because, um, we found this, like, list on the internet of, like, you know, most popular Christmas movies in every state, and for Connecticut, it was Christmas in Connecticut, and we had, like, never fucking heard of it. But like, yeah, obviously it's the most popular in Connecticut because reasons. And and like, it's so, I mean, it's from the 40s, so it's like understandably kind of hokey. Because of like, I think, I think the 40s was like when there was still production code and stuff, so they couldn't put anything, they couldn't do like dark shit or whatever. So I mean, it's like really campy, like hokey movie about Christmas. And it's like, it's so funny in the fact that it's just, like, it's from the 40s, so, like, it's really poorly made in some places. Like, just the effects. Sound effects, specifically, and just, like, situate. It's just, it's just, it's just, like, it's, like, the pinnacle of ridiculousness, in my opinion. To the point where we purchased the movie on Amazon. We own it now. It's becoming a family tradition to watch it every Christmas because it's that. It is, like, that's how fucking ridiculous it is. And, uh, shit. Well, you know, I used my ult at least. I wasn't just sitting on my ult the entire time. We're good there. So anyway, I recommend Christmas in Connecticut too. I mean, I, it's probably best to watch it at Christmas, but like, yes. I didn't really participate in most of this match, but we won and that's what matters. Yeah, so I highly recommend that for like, if you want a good laugh. 
Um, yeah. Oh, man. You know what's funny is when you're watching play the game and, like, you just see yourself die. I mean, that doesn't happen in this, obviously. But, like, I just... I mean, I turned off kill cam. I think I mentioned this before. I turned off kill cam because I kept getting embarrassed at watching myself be stupid. But like, you can't turn off play the game. <laughs> if you die and play the game, you, you gotta look at it. Look, look at me getting no medals. And it's cause I joined the game halfway through, but hey. Well, okay. Is it like normal that people will just like spam the stay as team button, but then cancel immediately? Cause that person just did and um, it happens a lot. Uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, you know what? <sighs> My last episode was really long, so I think I'm gonna cut this one short. Just to, like, plus, like, like I said before, that whole pizza deal. Yeah. Oh, I don't know when the heck they're, my family's gonna come in and, like, yeah, so, um, that's the end here. But, uh, oh wait, I'll show you a couple highlights. That's good. Um, I think these are all from episodes I filmed, except maybe not this King's Row one. I don't remember what it is, though. I like how it gives you highlights. Like, I had this really cool one. <laughs> I had this really cool one where I, like, I was fighting, and then this McCree that was, like, right next to me went, It's Hanu. But then I, like, killed him right as he was saying it. And it was so good, and it ended up in my highlights, but I didn't manage to, like, save it. But anyway, look at me go! Frickin' I did a double kill. That never happens. And then, here, watch this. I die. And then, boom! I also killed him. So, you know what? That obviously, obviously deserved to be play of the game. It didn't, though. Someone got, like, someone got, like, a seven-player kill streak Or something. Something like that. Oh, and then, uh, I think these are from the last video, actually. But, like, I had two highlights. I guess because I did two matches last video. <laughs> That explained we were about the same map too, so um, yeah, I don't remember what this is. So anyway, I'm just, I don't know. I like watching my highlights because it's like, hey look, here look at the one time you didn't fuck up. Good job, Abby. Yeah, I like this map. Like, I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but Lijong Tower. It's very, very nice looking to me. Yeah, I got him. And then I think, do it. yeah. I kill that person, and then it wasn't done, apparently. You know, I don't know how you actually save these, to be honest. Because, like, there's gotta be a way, because I feel like it, like, sets them up for you to, like, be able to show people them. But, like, as a file, you know, because it, like, does this intro, and then it has the outro of the Overwatch logo, and I feel like if it was just meant to be, like, viewed this one time, I don't think they'd do that. But... I don't know. Watch me. I think this was my, like, this is when we got the team kill, I believe. No, no, it's not. I don't know. Anyway, look at me reliving my very brief glory. <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, that's about it, because I'm going to eat some fucking pizza. Y'all. So anyway, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, you know the drill. Give me some pointers on how not to suck, if you really want to. But yeah, just like, and like, like, comment, subscribe, and have a nice day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Y'all are the greatest, and anyway, I'll leave you with this beautiful Hanzo.